What's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today it's gonna be a mob battle And I feel like I say this all the time guys We got a brand new mob entering the arena today and that is going to be the caterpillar from or spawn It just came out. It's a giant caterpillar and you might be wondering what are we doing in the middle of nowhere? We're not in the arena. It's weird but actually, the reason is because the caterpillar has a special ability where he eats trees and regenerates health. And I felt like it was only fair to let him do it because he only spawns in forests and jungles. You know, you know, this is really not a good spot for you to be. The caterpillar is probably going to eat you. It's not a little caterpillar. It's a, it's a really big caterpillar. Just trying to let you know, all right, if you want to stay there, then it's going to happen. But yeah, guys, girlfriend's probably going to be the first victim for the Caterpillar, but we have a ton of different mobs today, and most of them are bugs. We got the Carrier Bug, the Bee, the Spit Bug, we got the Mantis, the Night Bug, the Hercules Beetle, and even the Emperor's Scorpion. And if somehow it kills the Emperor's Scorpion, we'll go for something crazy like Godzilla if we have to. But it seems like Godzilla versus, you know, a bug would probably not be a good idea. But we'll find out soon. And guys, if you want to see more battles with tons of different mobs like this, be sure to smash that like button, and I will definitely keep them coming. Alright, so I'm thinking I'm just going to spawn it in and see what happens with her. I, I don't know if it's a good idea, but... Yeah, back up. I know you're afraid. Even the ant's pushing you. How could you win? Alright, well, I'm going to spawn it in. There's not much I could do about, you know, some girlfriends walking into the area. Alright, so guys, that is the cat or killer. It's freaking massive. So, I have a feeling some of these mobs are going to die horrible deaths. And we're going to start with some weak ones. Do I hear you eating the tree? Don't eat the tree yet. Alright guys, so I'm going to spawn in the carrier bug against the catter killer. Alright, here we go. And let the battle begin. So you can see the first thing it did is put it in webs and then it ate it in one bite because it was really tiny. I think its stomach made a noise. Alright, so that was one loss. Alright, here comes the bee. Can it do any better? against the cat or killer all right at least at least guys at least it hit it because the other one did it even hit it i think it just regenerated the health automatically after all right come on spit bug can you kill this giant beast all right here we go it's stuck in the web that is so bad it's got to be so annoying fighting this thing in survival wow its victims are going down so brutally all right the mantis it's a big bug not this big but here we go. Alright, it's actually fighting it. It's doing something. It did like 12 damage. And now it's dead. It's not looking good for the girlfriend right now, guys. He spotted her and, and she has died. He like went over the trees. I mean, these things are serious. Alright, so what we're going to do is clear these out. You know, these are from previous rounds and girlfriend killing. You know, whatever he was doing. And now, guys, we are on to a serious boss, and this one is the Night Bug. It's got 600 health, which is even more than the Cat or Killer. That's got to mean something. All right, come on. You can do it. You're really big, too. Y you might not be that big, but you're, you're still sort of big. All right, it's not looking good, is it? Oh, he's jumping. He tried to jump on him. I'm not even sure he did any damage at all. The Night Bug does have an explosive move, which is probably his best bet here. But it just looks like the cat or killer is biting him every second. Is he like stuck in the webs? He's trying to like climb through them. Alright, uh, so the cat or killer is definitely doing a lot of damage. You can see he's constantly on the offensive. Oh, he's jumping right on top of his face. Did that seriously not even hurt him? I mean, this is a really strong boss. If you fought the night bug before, he's extremely powerful. But the cat or killer is making him look like a baby. Alright, he's jumping on him again. Oh, it did a little damage, but the regeneration is just too much. This is crazy. And I know if you fight the Caterpillar in Minecraft, you have to fight him in a forest, because that's really where he spawns. So I felt like it was fair to give him the regeneration effect from it. Nightbug, not looking so good. Caterpillar, full health. Alright, he put on his shield. It makes his defense even higher, but it, it's not looking good. You might want to just jump away. Don't even try to jump on him. Jump that way, where it's safe. All right, it's going down, guys. 19 health, 13, 7, and it's been eaten by the Caterpillar. Wow, this is crazy. I'm thinking some serious, like, bosses are going to have to go against this one. Next up, guys, is the Hercules Beetle, which hopefully can do a little bit better because this Caterpillar is killing everything. It's the most destructive bug I've ever seen. Your face is weird looking. I, I would run so fast if I saw this boss. All right, here we go, and let's battle begin. Alright, finally, a mob that can actually damage it. 
<laughs> threw it on the tree. Just dives down. All right, are you stuck in the web? It looks really uncomfortable. All right, luckily you have a really long thing sticking out of you to attack with. All right, so it's actually taking it down. It's almost below 400. And the Hercules Beetle is at 215. This is like his first real opponent of the day. I tried to set up like a bunch of bugs, you know, because it's a giant caterpillar. I thought it'd be cool, but so far everything has died a horrible, gruesome caterpillar death. It just danced. I saw it go around in a circle. All right, so he can't even get it below 400. Trying his best here. Knocking him into the trees. It actually looks like it's going to be a long round. All right, the Hercules Beetle is down to 191, and the Catter Killer is into the 390s, but he's trying to regenerate. And you can see, since we started, there's a lot less trees than there was before. All right, 370 and 169. And he also does have a regeneration effect. He can't really move, though. Look at all these spider webs. It's ridiculous. The battle is in a corner here. Wow, he's getting so many hits off. I don't know. He might have a chance. He's at 128. And the Caterpillar is at 270. Like a random butterfly flies by. I don't know, guys. This is going to be a close match. And if you're paying close attention, you saw he ate like he's eating the tree right now. He's like, I really need to regenerate some health. All right, so he's down to about 240, and the Hercules Beetle is starting to die off. Yeah, you can't really push it into a corner. If you do, he just eats his way out. I actually tried him in the arena, and he ate my arena. He literally ate the walls. And then ended out outside it. So he couldn't really do it there. It's, it's so ridiculous. All right. He's down to about 200. And the Hercules Beetle is dying. Yeah, you, you were too small anyway. We need something bigger. Ember Scorpion is going next, guys. And I haven't seen too many mobs that can kill the Ember Scorpion. But we got him down to about 200. I can't believe it, guys. But the Caterpillar has pretty much owned everything so far. But you know what? If you think about it, it makes sense. Its name is Catter Killer. It's not like Catter Loser or something like that. So it should be able to own tons of mobs. Plus, look at its face. This thing is so scary looking. It's got 450 health, which is 100 more than the Emperor Scorpion. But seriously, I couldn't imagine like starting a brand new world, ending out in a forest, and my face getting bitten off the first day by a giant caterpillar. <laughs> All right, guys. So here we go. Can it take out the Emperor Scorpion? And let the battle begin. I remember when we first started mob battles and I used the Emperor Scorpion. It used to be the strongest mob we'd ever seen before. So can it get taken out by another mob? That's a giant beast. I don't know if we could do it. He's got 100 more health. Are you stuck in the web? Is it actually stuck in the web? The Emperor Scorpion. We found its weakness, guys. Imagine if Godzilla could get stuck in a little web like that. That'd be so funny. All right, so what are you doing? You're eating? It's not lunchtime. It's not lunchtime. Stop eating. The Ember Scorpion's over there. Are you hiding? I know I'd be afraid too. All right, let's see if we can push him back in there. All right, I think I did it. All right, so he's spinning into him. All right, no, he's actually taking damage now. He got out of the webs. And the Caterpillar is down to 414. Ember Scorpion barely taking any damage at all. He's trying to hide in the trees. Now he's on top of the trees. All right, as long as he's not stuck in the webs, I think he has a chance here. They're in like the weirdest spots ever. It's actually below 400. Ember Scorpion looks to be winning. All right, so we got to watch from here. Yeah, the bug is actually dying off, guys. The Caterpillar is freaking at 350. The Emperor Scorpion is stuck in a web, but doing a ton of damage. He's at 326, and the Caterpillar, I think he's about to drop below 300. Yeah, guys, it doesn't look like the Caterpillar is strong enough for the Emperor Scorpion, but definitely a super powerful mob. It's trying to eat all the trees. I just saw it eat this whole tree and then its stomach like made a noise. All right, it's into the 200s. And there's like 700 webs on top of the Emperor Scorpion. <laughs> this is how you trap him. He can't even move an inch. He's just stuck here for the rest of the battle now. All right, so what is he at? He's at 316 and the Caterpillar is at 280. Oh, how'd you get out of there? You like jumped. It was like a ninja move from the Emperor Scorpion. All right, he's got him cornered. He's down to 240, and the Emperor Scorpion still above 300. I'm thinking he might get him down to about 250, but then the Caterpillar will die. He's half dead. This is the best we've seen so far. I see, like, you guys see some things going on back here? I saw, like, a golden apple cow running around. All right, he's down into the 100s. Emperor Scorpion at 290. This is going to be the death of the Caterpillar. 
He's trying to eat the trees. Like, look at the tree. It's disappearing by the second. All right, he's down to 85. Ember Scorpion at 278. All right, finally, guys, it is dying. And the Ember Scorpion so brutal, it's having its children attack the cows. That That's not very nice. Why would you do that? Why would you kill the poor apple cows? They were just trying to watch the fight. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that. All the butterflies coming out after its death. So, yeah, the Ember Scorpion went down to 238. And even with its advantage of eating the trees and having a regeneration effect, it was not strong enough to take out the Ember Scorpion. But, guys, there is definitely a very powerful boss in Aura Spawn now. And it's really cool, too. I love its abilities. I like how it shoots out these webs and stops the opponents and eats the trees. But yeah, guys, that is about all there is to show for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the commentary. If you did, be sure to slam that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you next time for another Minecraft video.